Traditionally speaking, if I got $1.5 million in an account, right? And I can draw from that account, I don't have to work again for the rest of my life. So if you use, if you use the 4% rule, everybody, there's a 4% rule in retirement. So whatever you got going on, if I just withdraw 4% every year from that pool of money, I'll be able to be living off that pool of money for the rest of my life, okay? But what's 4%? Uh, so if you do the math, it's uh, six, at 60,000 a year, $62,000 a year. So the question you got to ask yourself is, based on where I live, is $62,000 enough? I don't know. Maybe depending, in Tennessee. Depending if you have like a minimal life uh, living. That's what you uh, just said, minimal. Yeah. yeah. But what happens if you want to go maximum? You're retirement, right? You want to go travel. You want to go there. Right? Well, then, you know, you sell the house, sell the car, <laughs> and... You know, wait till your kids grow up. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, that, that's it. That's a, that's a process, mm -hmm. right? So if so I, I did some numbers here, uh, just so you guys know, let, let me simplify it. So Americans are increasing their retirement savings goals due to inflation and economic uncertainty. Why? Because at $1.5 million, if you retired last year in 2022, you would have lost 20%. Okay, you you would have you would have lost uh, you would have lost roughly twenty twenty five thousand dollars of your uh, two hundred uh, two hundred thousand two hundred fifty thousand dollars if you had one point five million dollars last year. Mm. And the question you got to ask yourself is how do I make up that money if I was to to lose money? Because um, right now, a bag of groceries is a hundred bucks. Just saying, you know your budget. You got two kids, single mom, two kids. What's a bag of groceries? <laughs> Literally a month is two fifty. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, right? Yeah. So what do you think is going to be? By the way, how, was it, how much was a bag of groceries when you were growing up in Tennessee? <laughs> like $30. <laughs> <That's>, that's, <laughs> hey, that's but easy. we had, we, I grew up in a farm, so we raised our chickens, we had eggs, we had goats, mm. we had bunnies. Mm. So we had a garden, you know, so it was cheaper. You know, <laughs> we grew tomatoes, pumpkins, cucumbers. You, you milked a cow? I, I never milked a cow, though. <laughs> It's, Children a, it's a serious question. Children are it's a serious question. A cow. Children, it's a serious question. I want to know if you built the cow. Children are listening, Milton. Okay. All right. Generation X expresses the most worry about retirement with an average savings of 1.56 million. Okay. So here, 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 here's the issue. Okay. So let's say, let's say you're Generation X. Those, those born after 1964, they have about 10, see that? $10,000 saved. So if you're, what, late 40s? 50s, early 60s, the average Generation X has 10 grand saved. Let's say I'm 50. I'm using the loan because I'm about to turn 50. If I followed traditional uh, um, career path, I didn't decide to become an entrepreneur, right? I decided to work a job, retire from the military, get another job with the government, be a cop, be a firefighter, be a postal worker. And I just started saving at 50 years old. If I'm earning a 6% interest rate, and I got, and I got 20, I got 17 years ago, from 50 to 67, I got 17 years to go. I have to save 4,000. You see that? 4,500. Yeah. I've got to save $4,500 a month for the next 17 years to reach my goal of 1.56. Wow. Not doable or not doable? Well, depends not what you are, average, right? Not for so the if average. So if I got a job at the post office, I'm a cop. Definitely not. Okay. No. Definitely not. If I'm making 60 grand, 80 grand a year, can I save four grand a month? If you have, if you're married and both of you guys are are working people, one of you guys can put your money aside, and the other you can use the one income to, to. Uh, That's what you have to do. Yeah. So so now is it optional or do you think it's a requirement? If two incomes have to be in the household. I feel like it should be a requirement if you that, want right, to retire. Right. Exactly. So both of y'all have to bring in the money. Mm -hmm. One we're going to live off of the other one we have to save. Otherwise, with the question I got asked myself, remember the four questions I asked a couple weeks ago? What type of lifestyle do I have to reduce if I don't do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If you want to change it, though, what are people doing? Instead of retiring in, in 17 years, now you got 22. You see that 22? Mm -hmm. So you got another five more years, same 6%. So instead of having to save, uh, say, uh, save that uh, on, on a, a monthly basis, now you have what? And you and you earn an 8% rate of return. So 22 years, five more. So if you delay your retirement by five years, Increase your potential interest rate by two more percent. Now you have to save twenty-two hundred dollars. If you want to increase that some more in terms of your years of retirement from twenty-seven, so now I'm delaying my retirement ten total years. Instead of retiring at sixty-seven, I'm retiring at seventy-seven. Assuming an employer will keep you on the job. Now here's uh, uh, eight, uh, um, eight years. So if you look at this retirement uh, calculator here, now you got to save fourteen hundred bucks a month. So think about this. When I was 20 years old, I'd always laugh at the people 20 years older than me. I was like, ah, you're old. And they said, you know, just saying, I blinked and I became that old person. Yeah, I know. I'm almost 30. I just turned 29 yesterday. I was like, what? But why? So think that. about this. Why don't people save in their 20s and 30s? 
because they got kids. They got relationships. They got aspirations, right? And a lot of people do not know. They don't know about this. We weren't taught this in school. And I feel like these are certain things. If we know now how to become a millionaire in the future, we should teach our kids while they're young so they could do it before we did it. So here, here's a question. So let's go to this. Let's, let's look at this calculator. People re- reason no, they don't know because they don't know the formula. Yeah. This is a formula. Let's say, so let's say you want to retire in, in, uh, at uh, 67 years old, mm-hmm. even though that may not be a goal for you. Okay? <laughs> it's okay. But let's say 67 years. So you're 30, yep. 20, or you're 29? I'm 29, yes. 29. So you have uh, 67 years. So that, that is, uh, you've got uh, what, uh, thir- you have 38 years ago. Yes. Okay. So if you have 30, if you punch in your 38 years, and let's just say you start with zero. And you earn an eight percent rate of return. Guess what you need to guess what you need to save on a monthly basis to reach your goal. Three, two. Oh, here we. Oh, I missed something. I put it. I put it. Let's say you got a dollar. Okay. Calculate. Calculate. Now I got to save five hundred ninety bucks a month. Wow. Is it better than saving four thousand a month? That is amazing. Right. Is that, that is doable. There it is. Mm-hmm. Now, the reason why, for example, we said we we invite you to come on a podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And, and you ask, well. Well, where is it at? We said Dallas. You got here to Dallas. I said, where's the podcast studio? It's said, somewhere in Dallas. <laughs> How long will you still be driving around looking for a studio? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you wouldn't even probably come out. No. Yeah. <laughs> You're wasting my time. Right? So here's, a, here's the issue. If you want to hit your retirement goal, whatever that is, you, or you want to be financially free. I don't believe, by the way, I don't believe in the, personally for me, I don't believe in the word retirement. I believe in being financially free. Yes. Um, I, I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure I work for me because I want to, not because I have to. Mm. And so... If you want to hit a certain lump sum goal to be financially independent for the rest of your life, you have to have a formula. So if you don't have a formula, that's why I'm so glad you're watching the Millionaire Goals podcast. And by the way, this is an art calculator. You can go on this website here called investor.gov, investor.gov, and they'll give you a calculator. So therefore, you can be a bit more clear. If you want some help on this, send us a DM, uh, reach out to us, and we'll help you get this financial GPS uh, for you. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.